I was transported to a faraway land and to a world unspooled. I played a game like an ace. Now we're in this place to save the monsters from the evil mood. Just to be sure. Okay. Stone? Magic, if you weren't a stone, I'd kiss you. All oh, right, the mystery disc is here. Yeah! <sighs> How do they know that? Out of the way, hair. Back at you, tiger. <laughs> you look like Tiger of the Dirt to me. You've been warned. Anytime, punk. Stop. <laughs> Fighting is bad. Opportunity to get in solid with Moo. It's a strange looking mystery, this. Uh, maybe it holds the Phoenix. This is unbelievable. <laughs> hurry, hurry. <laughs> Prepare for takeoff. <laughs> oh, where's one when you need one? Come on, come on. Just the littlest, tiniest. Ha! Excellent. Ready? Lift off! I'm in clover now! Ha! Master Moo, here I come!
My story is my purpose. So, what is your story, Mono? It's about a mistake. What do you mean, a mistake? The mistake of the ancient beings. We don't have time for storytelling. We got stuff we gotta get done. You must listen to my story. Who's gonna make us? Watch it, Mono. I'm not listening to any story unless I want to. We must free the Phoenix. That's my story. Let's listen. Yeah. You better be good. Swayzo, please. Hmm? Your story is about the Phoenix? Please tell us what you know. It's a long one. Gather around. Uh, waste of time. Come on! Maybe it'll help us beat the baddies! Well, in that case... Me too! Sometimes. Close your eyes. I'll make a direct access image to your brains. What's this direct access thing? He's going to send the story's pictures into our brains. Sounds like a scam to me. Come on, this could help us. Concentrate. Open your hearts wider. Ma 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 monsters. Get a disc, take the risk, spin it fast through the past, unlock it, reclaim it, you can tame it, unlock your disc. The Phoenix soars like Master Moon, unlock them all. Everybody wants them, how about you? Unlock them all. Moon is a giant, bad as the bad. Unlock your disc. The Nagas by form to resist would be mad. Unlock your disc. 400 monsters, all shapes and sizes, you can't predict them, they're full of surprises. a planet and on that planet only one continent a land called Bangia the people of Bangia had created an advanced civilization no in fact an extremely advanced civilization these ancients developed a technology that allowed them to create monsters in the laboratory and then store the genetic information, sealing it in CD-ROMs. When the world was one continent, I almost feel like I'm right there, back in that ancient civilization. In time, this technology became commonplace and was taken for granted. And the monsters, the miraculous result of this wondrous technology, became household pets. Created and used for people's amusement. But not only monsters were created. The technology was used to create whatever people believed would make them happy. Whatever they believed would please them. At the peak of the civilization, its people believed they were gods. But despite their technology, they were not able to foresee the great disasters that attacked the land. Advancements in civilized conveniences were soon forgotten. 
The thin veneer of civilization was stripped away, and the people became savage. Fights became battles, and battles became wars. At first, it was called the Final War. But as it went on, 30, 50, 100 years, the cause of the war faded from memory. No one remembered why they were fighting. Only the bitter feelings transferred from one generation to the next, and the war continued. One day, countless years after the war had begun, a new monster was created. Someone to stay away from. Ooh, strength could not be matched. Although he was a living being, he had been created for no purpose but to destroy the enemy. It was thought that whoever achieved control of Mu would win the war, but Mu became his own master. He obeyed no commands but his own. He learned how to draw forth and amplify the darkness in the hearts of other monsters. Scientists who would survive turned their efforts to the creation of a creature capable of stopping Mu. That creature was the Phoenix. to separate Mu's mind from his body. It was a dangerous machine, one that would affect all monsters, but the people believed they had no choice. It was the only way to stop Mu. decision to make. If they were to rid themselves of Mu, they knew their solution would harm all monsters. But they had no choice. Otherwise, they would all be destroyed. And so Mu's body and mind were separated. He was destroyed, but so was the phoenix. And all the other creatures.
finished my story. It happened a long, long time ago. I didn't know. No one ever told me. That's a story. There are some things about that story that remind me of my world. Now just hold on a minute here. If the ancients destroyed Mu, why is it that we're still struggling against him today? Yes, Tiger is right, Monal. Obviously, his work is not yet done. What does that mean? Perhaps Mu's mind has attached itself to another body. Attached itself? That doesn't sound good. So Mu existed a long time ago, then he was sort of destroyed, but not really, and now he's trying to start it again? Is that it? I am not going to let him do it! <laughs> she! Well, that's why we're looking for the Phoenix, so we can revive it and put an end to Mu's evil ways. What she said! Now, here's a question for you. If Moo's mind has been floating around, what does that mean for the Phoenix? Get out of here, Hare. You mean even if we find the Phoenix, we won't be able to retrieve him because his mind won't be there too? Come on, that's just too depressing. Well, what do you think, Mono? Patience. You will find out at the right time. Hey, what's your problem? It's your job to tell us. My story is my purpose. I... Huh? Hey! Uh Stone? That's right. I saw it all. The stone glowed bright red, and then they found the disc close by. It's not possible for an ordinary person to use that stone. There was some girl using it. What? Oh, yes. A human girl, if I'm not mistaken. I think I heard them call her Holly. Holly? Is something the matter? Holly, is it? <laughs> we'll see about that. I would like nothing more than to be at your service, Your Majesty. I will take care of the girl. No, I will find the girl myself. You're going yourself? <laughs> hey, Mona, why don't you come along with us to find the Phoenix? I cannot. Mama, gee. My purpose is to tell my story. I understand. But I have one more thing to tell you. Monal, I don't know. That last one was a little heavy. We're listening. I hate it when you do that, Monal. Take care of yourself. Oh. Is that your big message? <laughs> you take care of yourself, too. Bye-bye, Mono! Thanks for telling us your story. Be careful. If you see Moo, tell him to watch out for us! Yeah, me especially! Very nice meeting you. Good luck, Mono. Goodies rule! Well, I guess we know what we gotta do for sure now. We have to find the phoenix. Mochi, mochi, mochi! <laughs> okay, let's get rolling! Yeah! Master Moo, I know where the girl is. Bring her here. Yes, yes! Just wait. <laughs> <laughs> Ma 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 